I'm Casey Kurtz here with my guy, Austin Lane. We are joined by an incredible guest, main event of UFC 273 in Jacksonville Saturday night, the UFC featherweight champion of the world, Alexander Volkanowski. Alexander, thank you for taking the time to talk with us today. First fight of 2022. How excited are you to get rolling on Saturday night and defend that title? Mate, I am very excited to get back in there. I'm, uh, it's been, been too long. You know, I wanted to get a quick return to the octagon, but I had to wait that little bit longer. But, hey, I'm going to start uh, my year or my fighting uh, year anyway with a bang. I want a few few fights this year, so I can't wait to get in there. Alexander, I've always been a fan of, of your mindset um, to, to this to this game, to, to the MMA game, because you always talk about finding room for improvement, finding room for improvement. I mean, I watched you completely mm-hmm. decimate you know, Ortega. I, I saw you beat Max Holloway twice and go toe-to-toe with him, gas tank for gas tank. What does improvement look like for you now that you are the champion that you have been putting on dominant performances? Yeah, man, it, it, it's all about that. Obviously, a lot of people will ask, you know, how is it? How do you stay motivated? You know, when you're the champ and things like that. But I mean, you know, it's even though I, I believe I'm better than all these guys, I just want to be better every time I step in that octagon. So that's that's where I get my drive from. That's how I. I that's where I, I improve. I want to be better. You know, I don't have to be better than my opponent. You know, because I believe I am now. But, uh, you know, I'm the type of guy that I just want to be better every time. So no matter who turns up in that octagon across from me, they're in for a long night because I know I'm stepping up every time. I'm where I want to be. I expect a lot better from me every time I step in there. In, in terms of your journey, you know, you, you've trained with world-renowned guys. I mean, Stylebender comes to mind, obviously, Dan Hooker as well. And you guys are different fighters, obviously. But what I think you guys all have in common that I'm very curious to find out about is when you go in that cage, you bring an intensity, but you're surprisingly calm for getting ready to go out there and fight. Um, and, and even like we talked about with Ortega, your last fight, I mean, you, you were a couple times in a bad position. You remain calm. You got out of that bad position. Where does that come from? Where does remaining calm and calculated come from? Yeah, man, that's a uh, that's somewhere I, I truly do believe I, I separate myself uh, a fair bit because I, I can be uh, so calm and composed. That's how you can stick to a game game plan, you know, make the right decisions. I think it comes down to uh, the training we do as well. You know, where we put ourselves in very uncomfortable positions. You hear people talk about get comfortable in uncomfortable positions, right? You hear people talk about that whether it's in uh, business or anything. You know what I mean? Because it it does. It, it's a it's a good life skill to have, but I mean, it works so well in this world of MMA because, you know, you are going to be under the pump. There's going to be a lot happening. And if you can't stay focused, you can't be composed, you know, that title can definitely be out the window, you know what I mean? So you need to be on the ball uh, while all this is happening. So to be able to keep a pace while uh, so much has happened, heat of the moment and still be composed in that chaos, it's a, uh, it's, it's next level. It really does make a big difference. And you're right. You do see that. You, you see that in my performances, as you said, like Israel uh, and things like that. So it's something that uh, I, I probably bring down to the training. Alexander Volkanowski with us. Action Sports Jacks on ESPN 690. Alexander, this is crazy to me. The last time you lost a fight, I was like 15 years old. <laughs> I'm now 24 in the range of that. That's incredible. So the question I have for you is how – how does that happen? Like you have been so dominant for so long. Like how do you walk around with that every day, just knowing that you're untouchable? Man, it's a, it is. It's, it's it's crazy when you look at it that way. Yeah, it has been a, a long time. Twenty five win streak. Um, you know, it is, it, it is impressive. But I just uh, one step at a time. You know what I mean? Each uh, goal I have, you know, I don't really look back. You know what I mean? So uh, whatever whatever task is in front of me, yeah, whatever next step I need to take, you know, that's that's where my full focus is. So that helps, you know what I mean? Because if you're sitting there being like, again, complacent because, oh, look what I've done, you know, you that's what I mean. Like, I'm, I'm never about that. I don't look back. You know, I just look forward and I just uh, take over and get over whatever hurdle or whatever steps in front of me. That's that that's 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 my main focus. Alex, but, I mean, it's incredible. You, you obviously bring these stats and all that and it's, you know, it's, it's good to hear. It uh, obviously is, uh, you know, we talk about legacy and, you know, this all comes into it, you know. Alexander, when we talk about, you know, how you've gotten to this point now, obviously top top, uh, to top five in the pound-for-pound pound rankings, you know, it seems like you've done it your way. You know, in this fight game, there's different ways you can take. You, you can talk trash on Instagram. You can badmouth someone's girlfriend or something like that. You, you've always seemed to kind of be true to yourself um, and not really get in the 
gift of trash talking per much. Now, Brian Ortega, you know, during the Ultimate Fighter, maybe brought out a little bit about that, you know. But in terms of your overall mm -hmm. style, your overall personality, we haven't seen a lot of that. Is there a part of you that wants to go out there and try to reach new heights and talk all this trash? Or are you, are you I don't want to say complacent, but are you confident in just who you are and being yourself? I mean, I'm confident just in just being who, who I am. You know, you don't need to do it. Obviously, it's uh, exciting that, uh, to see to see a bit of bad blood and all that, but I mean, if it's just not there, you know, faking the beef and and all that, it's just yeah, I, I ain't really about that. Obviously, some people uh, play that role and uh, they do it okay. Some people butcher it and do it terribly, but um, you know, it's just it is a part of the game. But one thing that I'm uh, proud of is the fact that I can just be myself and be where I am right now uh, and be myself the whole way through. Because again, like a you know, you don't you don't need that. People think that's what you need to do. That's the blueprint. That's the only way people are gonna you know uh, want to talk about you and all that. Can it fast track a year? Maybe, but um, I believe uh, you know the, what what you do in the octagon is is uh, what counts the most. People can say whatever they want. They get uh, knocked out and they get finished. That's it. Uh, their name goes. At the end of the list, uh, I got two more questions for you, man. Then we'll let you go. I'm, I'm sure you're very busy today. Um, mm -hmm. You know, you, you you talked about the legacy, right? And, and when you look at the resume so far, mm -hmm. Jose Aldo, Brian Ortega, Max Holloway twice. I mean, you know, you're you're to the point now where it's like, well, what's the next thing, right? Because uh, assuming that you you win this Saturday, I mean, what's going to be next if you're looking forward right now? Like, what do you want that legacy to be for Alexander Volkanovski? Yeah, man. It it's a uh, there's, there's a few options there. I think that uh, you know obviously I've got a zombie to worry about, but you know 25 win streak. You know uh, I've been in, I've fought at middleweight, welterweight, lightweight. You know what I mean? Uh, you know featherweight. I'm undefeated in uh, all of them weights, including middleweight. You know my only loss was at welterweight. Um, you know and the the guys I've taken out. You know what I mean? Like uh, it's uh, it's really saying something. But I mean I'm going to go out there do zombie. I'm going to look at the division. You know, I don't want to be calling, uh, you know, double champ status straight away. But, I mean, I don't think it's long before you guys are going to be wanting that, before everyone's asking that. Everyone wants that to happen, you know. And then I've got the UFC telling me to do it. So, you know, these are these are things that I, I see in the near future. You know, obviously I've got uh, zombie to worry about. But I want GOAT status. I want, you know, pound for pound status, all that type of stuff. But, you know, I don't think it's long before... Everyone else is, uh, you know, throwing uh, my name in all, that, all of that. You know what I mean? I don't want to be the type of guy to be like, oh, I'm this, I'm that. I want you guys to be saying that. And I don't think I'm that far away from it. Well, and you mentioned it. UFC 273 this Saturday in Jacksonville, by Star Veterans Memorial Arena, the main event, Alexander Volkanovsky taking on the Korean zombie. When you talk about zombie, I mean, obviously they call him zombie for a reason. And then this guy can take a punch. And sometimes mm -hmm. watching film on him, he will take one punch to give out two or three. What do you have to do to mm -hmm. prevent it from being a street fight, essentially? Kind of like what he wants, I believe, to try to make it a slugfest. Is that what you're looking for? Because I've heard you say you're looking for the KO, but how do you go about getting that KO? Yeah, exactly. You've got to be clever. Yeah, calculated. Everyone knows I'm not going to take silly risks, right? I'm not going to, as you said, you, you nailed it. He's going to eat one to give one. And mm -hmm. they're dangerous. So you've got to respect that. But at the same time, the fact that he's going to walk forward, invite shots and try and counter, that still gives me a lot of openings. So even though I'm going to be calculated, uh, like the, the the shots are going to be there. It's still going to be a high pace fight. There's going to be a lot of uh, obviously connections and things like that. But I mean, I'm just going to wear him down, land some big shots, and again, these openings that are going to be there, I see the finish just purely from the style he fights. You know, he is tough. You're right. But I mean, when I put a pace on someone and and you give me that many openings to land on your chin, you're going to go down. You are going to get tired. You are going to crumble. And I'm going to get that finish. That's honestly what I, I truly do believe in. I can't wait to go out there and, and do that. You know, I know there's going to be exciting fights. I know it's a, the, the fans are going to love it. But on top of that, you know, obviously we've got to get that win. And, you know, I'd love that finish too. Alexander Volkanovski, thanks for taking some time and joining ESPN 690. I would wish you good luck, but I've seen your training regimen. I've seen you online. Luck is for the unprepared. You're prepared, man. So good skill. I appreciate it. Always prepared. Thank you. Thank you, man.